Hi you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I finally got my FabFitFun edit sale items. I am obviously very happy about it. I wanted to say quickly that I do visit the um, community forum fairly regularly. I am still a very happy FabFitFun customer. There are a lot of people that were really upset with shipping delays and items that they had purchased being turning out to be out of stock. Um, that has not been my experience. I am still a very happy FabFitFun customer. Yes, they did promise to ship the items two weeks after charging us. I They didn't ship the items two weeks after charging me. Uh, they sent me an email a couple days after the two week mark and they said, we are very sorry. Um, we are gonna give you a $10 credit towards your spring sale and we hope that you will forgive us basically. And then the next day or maybe even that night I got an email saying that it had shipped so this was last week it has been this coming Monday will be three weeks since they charged me and I I it doesn't really bother me so much if I as long as I know that the shipping is gonna take that long I can prepare for it and plan for it um, so I'm not I'm, I'm happy. I'm very happy. So let's get into this box. If you don't know, FabFitFun is a subscription box and it is $49.99 a month if you are seasonal and if you are annual, it's $45 a month. It, but you have to pay for the whole year, but you do get perks. Oh my goodness, there are so many goodies in here. Okay. Okay, so first thing... Ooh, these feel lovely. So these are the aloe infused socks. I believe they were $7. I'm going to put um, in the description box below what I paid and what the retail value is for all of these things. Uh, if I can find it, I, I need to do the, I need to Google search it um, because after the sale is over, they, FitFun doesn't have it anywhere. Um, anyway, so these are the aloe infused socks. They feel really nice. People rave about this. Something I like about the community forum, and I've said it in other videos, is that you can go on there and you can see what people are saying about the products that are available. Um, so I, they were $7, so for a pair of nice cozy socks, I thought, why not? Um, okay, so this is the Tarte Lifted Mascara. Um, let's see, let me do this right here. Lifted. I've never had anything by Tarte before. People love Tarte products and people were saying really, really good things about this. Um, I also don't buy things that aren't cruelty free. So this Tarte must be cruelty free, unless I missed that. Uh, but they must be cruelty free. This feels... Ooh, this feels so nice. Just the packaging feels really <laughs> something about it. Um, okay, so I'm going to open this and show you what the spoolie looks like. It's supposed to be sweat proof. Some people have said it's actually not very sweat proof, but it's still really good mascara. Okay, so it's a traditional looking smooth, uh, spoolie, smoothie. <laughs> um, spoolie. I actually am not wearing mascara right now. Maybe I should try this out. I will do, um, actually, I will do a separate mascaras uh, review video because I have, I have like five. I have my, the one that I, is coveted, that I love. That's the CoverGirl Fibers Mascara. And CoverGirl just went cruelty-free like in August, which is a big deal. Um, this isn't. Oh, no, I guess that's how it is. Okay, I thought it wasn't screwing on right. Um, so I'll do a, in the in the near future, I will do a mascara review video because I have now like four different ones and I can compare them all to each other, see if this one holds up to my favorite CoverGirl Fibers mascara, which is amazing. Um, okay. Oh, uh, this got squished. Okay, that's fine. Um, so this is the Moroccan Gold Series Leave-In Mask, and it's a spray mask, and as you can tell, I am suffering from major bedhead right now. I was just lounging on the couch at Saturday morning, and I heard the knock on the door, and there was the box, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna film! Um, <laughs> so I, uh, yeah, anyway, so this is a spray leave-in hair mask, kind of like It's a 10, or the Marrakesh spray, um, and people for the most part were saying that, th that they really liked this. Uh, people have said they really like the, um, the hair treatment mask that you use in the shower that we got in the winter box as well. Um, 
so for the most part people were saying really good things about that and my hair loves and needs these kinds of products so um, I am very excited to try it uh, that is not focused. there we go so that's what it is um, let's see if I can let's give it a little smell I always do um, or I, I I think I'm, I'm pretty good about it. I do reviews of these products too afterwards, so I'll let you know once I use this. Oh, smells, smells good. Smells good. I'm trying to decide what it smells like. Smells good. Um, but like I said, I will do a review in the future um, about this, and I think this was nine dollars. And I, uh, I do remember that the mascara was five dollars, so I thought, well, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I believe this was nine dollars. Um, he, okay. <laughs> uh, people were saying so. This is another um, product like this uh, spray, this leave-in spray. This is the Orlando Pita Play. People were raving about this on the uh, community forum, so I threw one in my cart. I believe it was seven dollars. I'm gonna. Uh, I always get overwhelmed by smells when I do these videos because I want to try to smell everything and tell you guys how it smells. Let's try this one. Hmm. Smells like salon clean, you know, like salon, expensive salon product. Smells good. Okay, so let's see. This one is also, it's Atmo Shield Hair Protectant Spray. So this one claims to do 10 things. It claims to have heat protection, humidity control, and shield from environmental stressors, enhance manageability, repair split ends, preserve shine, smooth the hair cuticle, promote softness, and maintain color and refreshes curls. Boy, do I need that right now. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to try that. And then, oh, here's the, I got three products like this, but I go through these really quickly, so I, I figured I would just try them all out. Um, so now this is, yeah, so this one was $7, the Orlando Pita Play. This is the Living Proof, Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. I did a Living Proof video, and I will link it um, above me here, uh, reviewing everything that I've used by them. I haven't loved everything, but I've loved some of the stuff. And this was on sale for $5, and it retails for $29. So I, again, like the tart, which was $5. I threw this in my cart. I thought, why not? Um, let's see if I can... Uh, I'm going to smell like a perfume store. Okay, let's see if I can smell this one. I'm just going to... Okay, one day. Oh, there we go. Mm. I'm too overwhelmed by smells now, I think. Oh, okay, no, that smells like Living Proof products. Uh, most of the Living Proof products all smell the same. The same kind of a salon, a variation on the salon clean, a uh, high-end salon clean smell. Um, so... I really, really like that. There have there are a couple of the products in that video that I said I was going to link above a little bit ago. Um, there are a couple of products that don't smell like it, and they smell nice, but I have a sad me smell memory attached to them, so I'm not I can't use them. But um, anyway, so these are three very similar products, and I will try them all, and I will do a leave-in spray review video about that. Okay, so this is the Murad Pore Extractor Pomegranate Mask, and it looks like that. You can get it at Ulta. I can't remember offhand how much I paid for this. I think I paid like $11. Again, I will put all the prices in the description box below and how much I paid. Um, that's Wait, I just said the same thing two different ways. It's funny how... <laughs> You can misspeak. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. So this is uh, the Murad. I uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm really excited to try this. 
Um, it I, I kind of had it in and out of my cart actually because it is for combination to oily skin. Um, but there were a lot of people on the forum saying, no, no, keep it. Just put it where you have clogged pores. And so don't put it all over your face. Also, the shelf life on this is only six months. So I'm not going to remove this because I don't know that I'll be able to go through it that quickly. I usually take about a year to go through masks. Um, some, some masks. I have some that I've sped through actually from, uh, prior sales. But, um... People love it, and I'll see what I think. Again, I will do another review. Maybe I'll do a mirror review. I have the refresh Refreshing Cleanser, and I think it has parabens in it, which I was really, really surprised to th see that because it was kind of like, Murad, what are you doing? You're, this is a $60 cleanser, and you have parabens. That's silly. Um, let's see if the ingredients... No, this, this actually, if the shelf life on this is six months, I doubt it has parabens. Because parabens is a preservative. And that's why it's in stuff. Yeah, I don't see parabens on this one. Okay. I got the, oh, I'm going to say this a little more quietly. I got the Grown Alchemist eye cream for my husband. Um, I got this for my brother for Christmas. And it's, it's, it was $21. It, it retails for something like 67 or maybe even more um, from directly from Grown Alchemist. Uh, but it's $21. It was $21 on sale. So I only got one for my brother. And my husband, I could kind of tell that he was like, where's mine? <laughs> so I got this for him for Valentine's Day. Um, so I'm going to put that back in the box and set it aside because it's a gift. I'm not going to open it or test it or anything. Um, okay, so this one, I'm excited about this one. It's a Noto product. And I, the more I'm learning about the Noto company, the more I really like them. They have really, really um, good practices as far as the company. Uh, they're cruelty-free. They are ecologically friendly, and I read about this. So the first thing that drew my attention to it was somebody on the community forum said that they really, really liked this stuff. They, they unsolicited, they posted on the forum on a thread um, where people were talking about the winter edit sales, and they said, I have just, just say that the no toe a gender oil is the best oil I have ever used. It tops the Marrakesh argon and hemp seed oil. It tops this oil, that oil, that oil. Um, and I thought, well, I love hair oils and this is a, a multi-use hair and body oil. And I, I just love oils. I have dry skin, curly hair is inherently dry. Uh, and then, so it's, it's unisex, it's called a gender oil. And then when I was reading about it <clears throat> online, it, what was it? Okay, so for this product, No Toe is donating proceeds to LGBTQIA. I think that they've added a couple more letters to the acronym. I consider myself an ally, so they donate proceeds to causes that help that community out. So I thought that that was really excellent. I love charitable stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to trying this. It has a seal on it. Let me peel this off. People have said that the um, there's a, a an ingredient in it, uh, vetiver, that has a very intense smoky smell. So I'm anticipating not liking it so much right away, but let's see. Oh, it's runny. Yeah. Oh, it reminds me of something. You know, it's, gosh, the smell memory is so powerful. It reminds me of something, and I can't put my finger on it, but it's runny. Um, oh, my gosh. What does that remind me of? I will be able to... It's a... Oh, it's a good memory. Maybe just like a really good massage I had once because it smells it smells like um just really good aromatherapy oil. I like it actually. Um I like it a lot. It was it's kinda like it would cure a headache kind of smell. 
Um, and I believe I paid, oh, I don't remember. I will put it down below. Um, okay, now I have oil all over my hands. Let's touch, oh, <laughs> okay, I'll show you guys this. Um, this is, I maxed out on this one. And I will just put these down and I will show you one. So I'm gonna be giving one to my mother and my one to my sister. And I am also working out a trade with somebody and she's gonna be sending me one too. So I'm gonna have two for myself. So this is the Dermalect, I've talked about this on my channel before. This is the Dermalect Self-Esteem Neck Firming Lift. I blew through this and I, so I'm 36, if you haven't seen me talk about this before, um, I'm 36, the one thing that I'm really worried about, my problem is um, firmness in my skin. And I have been noticing lately that, in, like in pictures and whatnot, I have turkey neck. And I have seen a drastic di difference in my skin, in my neck skin, since using this. And it's so amazing. The bummer, though, as I've been getting into all of this stuff, I have been learning more about ingredients. And the bummer on this one that I have learned is that if you have sensitive skin, you really want to be careful about using this. It has a couple of things that people with sensitive skin might have reactions to. And I think, does this one have parabens? No, it doesn't have parabens, not that I can see. I wanna, I wanna be sure before I tell you wrong. Okay, I don't see parabens. But it has, if you're a naturalist, it has PEG 40 in it, PEG 100 in it. It has imidazolidinol urea. I don't know how to say it, but if you want to pause here and if you can make out that ingredient list and pause, um, there are a handful of ingredients here that people can have uh, reactions to or that are listed as questionable as far as our health and whatnot. So I still love it. I'm going to use it. As I learn more, maybe I'll realize I really don't want to be putting those ingredients on my body. But uh, for now, I am really basking in how much this is helping my neck skin. Um, so yay, I really like that. And I am, I still feel comfortable enough with the ingredients that I'm going to give one to my mother and sister too. Um, so that, yay. Um, okay, my leg is falling asleep. Um, okay, here is the RN Co. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I need to shower after this video. I'm going to use this. This is the RN Co. Scalp Scrub. And I love that they put it in a little bag in case it leaked. It wouldn't get all over everything. Thank you for doing that. Okay, so... Here it is. This is what it looks like. Um, I am very overwhelmed by scent right now, especially this scent, which um, I, people said is pretty overwhelming. It is strong. I don't. I don't mind it. I like it though. Um, so, I uh, yeah. So I am going to try to smell this. I, 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 I will do a review on this separately. I'm really excited about this, though. I have never, well, I used a DP Hue apple cider vinegar sample of scalp scrub recently, and I liked it. It felt very clarifying. Um, I wasn't sure when I made that video what to think about it, but after my hair dried, I, I could feel that it had been really clarifying and nice. Okay, there's more. I spent 200 after taxes and everything. I spent 235. I was trying to get under 200, um, but I was at about 211, I think, and then taxes I went up to 235, which is absolutely fine because the first time that's less than I spent in my other sales. I have been a member since the fall. Um, so this is an Akis hair towel, and I have mentioned on my channel before that when I was, I think, I, gosh, I must have been like 15, maybe even younger, and my aunt, so there's the package, 
my aunt gave an Akis hair towel to me, my mother, and my sister for Christmas one year. And so I was so excited. I still have it. I still use it. It's in my bathroom. I was so excited to see that this was available in the sale. And not only that, this one, is. this is the large towel. And this is longer. This is longer than the one that I have. Um, I don't, it is not wider, but it is definitely longer. So that's really nice because the one that I have, you can see I have long hair. It doesn't quite cover and wrap all of it. I have to like fold my hair back. Anyway, so it's a great towel. These are great towels. If it's still the same uh, blend of material, it's very absorbent. And, and then even, it's very absorbent. And what's funny is when you take the towel off, you feel the towel and the towel doesn't even feel all that wet. It's like, where does it go in there? Anyway, so I was so excited to see that they had that. Um, okay. So, what's this one? Oh, I've been wanting a good lip balm. So this is, there were a few available on the sale this time. I almost got the Skin Iceland Berry Lip Balm on the last sale, the winter add-on sale. And I've seen a lot of people in unboxings and videos like this one that seemed pretty disappointed with it. So I was really happy that I didn't get the, that one. Um, anyway, so this is the Jouet, Jouet, I think is how you say it would be better if I held it right side up. Um, Jouet Lip Balm, and it was $9, and it retails, I think, for 18 Again, I'll put all the accurate, I should stop guessing, and I'll just put all the prices down below. Um, so I'm excited about this one. I just want a good nourishing lip balm that I can put on at night before I go to sleep and wake up and feel like my lips are soft. Um, so, yeah. I will let you know what I think of this one. Let's see what this applicator looks like. It looks like a Carmex applicator. Yeah. So we'll see. I've never tried anything by Joey. Joey. I don't know. That's how Tati says it. So that's what I think it, how I think it's said. I got the LMS winter kit. I got two of them because I did mention earlier I'm doing a trade with a lady that I met on the FabFitFun forum. And because I had posted that I didn't so much like the scent of this, people were raving and I just kind of threw in my opinion and I said, if anyone's interested in a trade, let me know because I don't want this to go to waste. I gave it, I tried it about three or four times on my hands. So I really tried, but I don't so much like it. It smells like a creamsicle. It's not a bad smell, but it, I just don't prefer it. Um, so anyway, it's the Grown Alchemist uh, body cream. It feels excellent. It feels like a really, really good body cream. Okay, so this is the Elemis set. So I'm not gonna open one of them because I'm sending this and this body cream to that lady that I met. And I'm gonna open mine. I'm very excited about this one. I'm very excited about having the makeup bag too. We can never have enough makeup bags. I remember I was going to Hawaii with my husband for our honeymoon. And um, he said, I just have this left to pack. And there was just this mess of stuff on the table. And it was like meds and like a razor and all these little things. And I thought, you need makeup bags. <laughs> and he was like, what? So I loaned him a couple of my girly ones and he used them when we were in Hawaii. It was funny. Uh, so makeup bags, they're just so useful. Okay, here we go. This is the cute silver makeup bag. It goes with the gold one that I loaned to my husband. <laughs> and these are, I, you know, I don't know that I realized that these were full size. They looked so little in the picture. I don't think I realized, these are full, I think they're full size. They feel full size. I'm really excited about this. Okay. 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 Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. I, LMS, I've been wanting to try LMS. Again, everything that I order, I double check to make sure that they're cruelty free. So as far as I could tell, LMS is. So this one is their Peptide 4 Thousand Flower Mask. Uh, revitalizing face mask for tired looking skin. Peptide 4 Willow Complex Nordic Peat. Illuminates, smooths, and revitalizes. Um, okay. <laughs> anyway, so it's a mask. So there's that one. And then 
eye recovery cream. So I got my own eye cream. I got my husband that girl and alchemist one. Um, okay, so this peptide four. So peptide four is this whole line. Okay, I get it. Um, and this is the eye recovery cream. And then here is a night recovery cream oil. Ooh, this is a glass. Is this glass? Yeah, this is glass. Um, yeah, so these are an entire line to be used together. Uh, and I will use these. I will use these and I will use them for a good um, few weeks at least. I feel like with skincare, you really need to use it for a while before you can say whether or not it works really well or not. But awesome. That's the LMS kit. That is really exciting. Um, and then there's more. That's not it. So then I, this would look like a really interesting company. So their ingredients are really nice as far as I could tell. And, um, they're, they're up and coming. They're newer. Okay. Um, they were reasonably priced. I thought I would give them a shot. I, uh, needed, I need a serum. I'm running low on my serums. So... I am excited. This is the May Love Antioxidant Serum. It was very simple pack packaging. Uh, so I'll give I'll give them a try. I'll let you guys know what I think about it. And then here I here is a glycolic acid. I just ran out of my um, caring uh, retinol um, serum, so I need something new as far as the high, harsher, more exfoliating. Um, ingredients in my skincare. So you're only supposed to use glycolic acid a couple times a week. Um, yeah, so I will use this and I will also let you know what I think about this one. So you guys, that is it. That's everything in my box and I'm so excited. Stay tuned for reviews on all of these things. And I woke up this morning and I had over 200 subscribers and I couldn't believe it. So that's super exciting. I haven't decided if I'm doing a 200 subscriber giveaway or a 250 subscriber giveaway. But regardless, there's a giveaway coming up. So I hope you stick around for that. All right. I hope you have a lovely weekend.